Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to install Animex freestanding wildlife fencing below the ground for temporary applications. This is one of the most popular wildlife fencing installation methods used on construction sites, roads, research projects, and farms. Now, before we get started, let's look at what tools and materials you'll need for this installation. Please pause the video if you need to. Remember, before you get stuck in, don't forget to make sure you follow all local work safety guidelines to ensure you and others around you are prepared and protected. Now let's get started. The first step is to ensure your fence line is clear of all vegetation, giving you enough room to work and to give you a clear line of sight to where your Animex exclusion fence is going to be installed. Next, mark out your fence line clearly, either using a string line and paint or staking at regular intervals. Once your line is clearly marked, it's time to start excavating your trench. For most Animex fences, you don't want to excavate any deeper than 6 inches, but please refer to your specific specification and local wildlife fencing recommendations to ensure this is done correctly. After the excavation, make sure the trench is clear of any large clumps or rocks as this will get in the way when installing the fence. Next. You and a crew member can simultaneously place the posts along the trench at the desired spacing whilst rolling out the Animex barrier and preparing it to be installed. If your installation requires the bottom lip to be folded, this should be done now. When installing the posts, make sure to position them at the back of the trench. If your installation also requires stranded wire, this should also be installed now. When placing the Animex in the trench, make sure there are no creases and it's ready to be secured. It is good practice to load up on pre-prepared fasteners before you begin securing the fencing, as this will save you lots of time. To do this, thread your choice of metal wire or UV resistant cable ties through the back of the washer, across the front and then back again, as shown here. If you're not using stranded wire, you can drill holes and fasten the Animex directly to the posts, but it's important to tie around the posts and not through the pre-drilled holes, as these won't always line up with where you decide to fasten them and may slow down your installation. If you are using stranded wire, you must attach the Animex fence directly to the wire rather than the posts. This gives the barrier more rigidity and enables you to add more frequent fixings to suit your own project's needs. When joining sections together, overlap them by between 6 and 8 inches and fasten them securely using multiple fixings to ensure there are no gaps animals can get through. Once you are happy everything is secure, you just need to backfill the trench, ensuring there are no gaps or fissures in the ground that might allow an animal to navigate its way under. We recommend treading down loose earth on both sides to ensure a nice tight seal with the ground. When backfilling over joining sections, make sure that you pile the earth to ensure the two overlapped sections are pressed tightly together and not pulled apart by the earth, forcing gaps to appear. Finally, if your project requires it, you can fasten the top anti-climb lip using washer and tie or wire clips. You can also add any gates or one-way jump outs. If you have any questions or need further help with an installation on your project, the Animex team are always on hand to help. Thank you and happy fencing! For tips on how to tackle terrain changes and other installation types, please check out our other videos. They'll give you all the tips and tricks you need to make your fencing installations a breeze.